Welcome back to my channel for data and machine learning and tech career. In today's video, we're going to go over, you know, how do we clean up the data sets when, you know, for example, if there is a dollar sign symbol in your price uh, column, how do we, you know, take care of that? Also, lastly, how do we, you know, if you have a lot of raw data, how do we aggregate it into a form where it's easier to calculate metrics? So it's really easy to get lost in Python because it's, you know, you don't really get to see the entire data set. Uh, but in this case, I'm going to demonstrate with Excel files. So in this case, we have the Google Play Store data with the app name and the rating and what category. And then I have number of reviews and, you know, my size installs. So what type it is, either free or paid. And then I have price. And so in this case, I want to ch check, you know, I, I'm, I, I, I want to use the price column. So then I want to check what prices the column has, the, what the values are. And so you can see that other than zero dollars for other price points, they all have a dollar sign in front of it. So obviously in the Python, it's going to be captured a string. And so we have to remove the uh, dollar sign in front of the uh, price and then convert it into numerical value. So in this case, we're trying to modify the price to numerical value. We first step has to replace the dollar sign with empty space. And then we're going to convert it to numerical value with a float. So we'll modify the existing column by doing DF, which is our data frame bracket price. So we're still naming as price and we're so we're not adding additional column and then call our price column by doing DF uh, bracket price dot apply. Uh, lambda. So in this case, we're, what we're doing is pretty much, you know, looping through every single row. And then for the, the in the string of price, whenever we see a uh, dollar sign, then we're going to replace it with empty space. And that's why we're doing, you know, apply lambda, which is like a, a for loop pretty much. And you're looping through every single row. And then for the, in the string of X, we're going to replace the dollar sign with empty space if there is a dollar sign in the string of, um, you know, in the price. Else, we're just going to have the string by itself. So in this one, we're not really converting to numerical value yet. We're pretty much, uh, you know, still manipulating at this on a, as a string and then replacing a dollar sign with the empty space. And then after you do that, then you can do exactly using the same function as for apply lambda and then convert all the every single rows of value into a float and still calling it price so that, you know, we never created additional column for price, but it's always rewriting it to itself. And so we didn't, it'll be all um, modified, but will still be called a, a price column in the data frame. So after we have converted a price, uh, removed by a uh, removed the dollar sign and converted numerical value, we can look into, you know, what's the uh, price distribution kind of look like by using DF, the data frame price dot value counts. And then you can kind of see like, what's the high from the highest to lowest to see, okay, majority of people uh, apps are $0. And then there's uh, $1 that's uh, has 145 apps that are five $1. And then there's just a, you know, a lot of like other dollar values, like 47 and sometimes like 19, 20. And you might want to, you, you might want to like, you know, start bucketing these into like every $5, because if you look at every single price point, it might be too granular for your analysis or something. And so if you want to bucket it, there is a faster way to do that. And I'll show you in Excel. So if we want to bucket the price into every $5, what we need to do is first divide the price by five. And in Excel, this dollar sign and a numerical value is already a numerical value. And so we don't need to take care of that in Excel, but we did in PyCon because it was imported as string. And then divided by five. So then in this case, 499 will be one. And then 399 will be 0.8. So after you did that, uh, it will have a, you know, for zero dollar be zero, but for anything between one dollar to five dollar, if you divide by five, it will have various of value from 0 0.1, 0 0.2 to one. And so what we need to do is ceiling it. Ceiling will, what ceiling does is to pretty much round it up to the most 
uh, nearest uh, integer. And so even 0 0.1 will be uh, counted as one. And now after you did that of sealing it, then we'll uh, multiply it by five. So in this case, the you know 4.99 uh, will be in the five dollar bracket uh, bucket, and then 6.99 will be in the ten dollar. So we can do exactly the same thing in Python, and we can do it by df bracket. Uh, so df is your data frame bracket uh, price equals you know your price your df bracket price divided by five, and that's all we did is when after you divide by five. And then you had to sealing it, and then so what? How you will be sealing it will be uh, uh using an apply function. So it will be parentheses dot apply, uh parentheses. So MP is your NumPy package, and there is dot seal, which is your sealing function. And so after you seal, uh, take the sealing of the price divided by five, then multiply by five. So this will be your new price bucket. Uh, but in this case, I am I did rewrite it uh, to our price column. So, and that might not be a good idea. You might want to create a new column called price bucket and then create this calculation. So before I jump into, you know, how do we process the review data into two columns of like positive reviews versus negative reviews, please make sure you subscribe to learn more about data. So the second part of this data set has, you know, the actual reviews for each app and each row will be uh, each review and it will tell you what the app name is, what the, you know, what did they, what did the review say? And then it has a sentiment to tell you if it's positive or negative or neutral or none of the above. And then some other, you know, sent sentiment, um, metric pi came from uh, a vader package using a machine learning model or so but i think what is very interesting here is that you know based on the comments they're able to say if it's positive negative or neutral and i think that's very informative um data set that we can play with and so what you would usually want to do when you use it do it in excel would be you know creating a pivot table uh, for each app name and then to tell you uh, kind of summarize like number of counts of per row uh, of like how many negative and how many positive, how many neutral you have, right? And then based on that, you can kind of calculate percentage of positive minus percentage of negatives to give you an overview of are they more positive? Or does this app has more positive review or has more negative review? And then so you can probably deep dive into why the reason is. And so I think that is very useful. And then I'm going to show you guys how we can do that in Python. So at first, you will want to create uh, a data set called, I'm just putting a G here, equals reviews. So reviews is a table uh, and then dot group by app. So in this case, you have all the reviews grouped by the app name. And then you're going to, uh, you know, have an identification on positive or negative reviews based on uh, the sentiment column. So in this case, I'm going to use the G dot apply lambda. So it's going to go through every single row of the, you know, reviews and then looking at the sentiment column, if it's positive. So in this case, it's more like if it's positive, so it's like double equal sign if it's positive and it's true, then we're going to count it as positive and sentiment. And then if we are negative, with same thing, we're using the uh, G, the reviews uh, data set, which is G dot apply uh, parentheses lambdas, looping through every single row. And if the sentiment is negative, then we're going to count it as negative. So after you have, you know, uh, created the positive and negative uh, single counts, then we're going to concat it. So it's more like we're going to, uh, put it side by side and since they're already grouped by app name then we're just gonna put them together and so that's how it works is that so the positive data sets is gonna generate for each app what's the number of positive right and it's gonna show you like this two columns and then the second negative one is showing you uh, for each app name what's the negative count and then it's showing you app name and the count here and so you can do concat and using pandas package to put them. So because they have the same number of app names, so you can just concat them uh, with the axis equals one. So you concat them side by side. And then after you do that, you can check if your data set is correct by doing df.head. 
and then uh, because the column names we didn't name it so then we're gonna uh, have uh, renamed the columns based on positive and negative and use uh, from the data frame that we created using the td.concat and then so I'm, I renamed the columns as positive and negative. So after we have renamed the column, we can use df.head to make sure that our data set is perfect, that it's, uh, you know, by each name has, tells me how many number of positive, how many number of negative reviews I have. And then after you did that, then you can use the pandas package merge uh, to merge it back to the original data set that you had.